I think we were better off when politeness counted in politics and in just in life in general. On your report card when I was a kid at Our Lady of Lourdes Grammar School in Baltimore, Maryland, there was one category called deportment. Remember that? Nobody grades you on deportment at all anymore, and it's a good thing. They don't, <laughs> given what the deportment is. In those days, men tipped their hats to women, removed their hats in an elevator, offered their seats on a bus or a train, held the door, ladies first. Nowadays, some women feel insulted if you hold the door for them. I think that's a shame. Call me old-fashioned, but it seems to me that we used coarser language. We use coarser language now. Or Cole Porter's lyric, people who once knew better words now only use four-letter words, writing prose. Anything goes. Well, that's only gotten worse since Cole Porter was writing his songs. I think in speech and dress and the way we deal with people, there's not as much refinement as there once was. Maybe it's an effort to be more democratic. Ah, I think maybe that's it. For years and years and years, Walter Cronkite and, and then Dan Rather opened the evening news by saying, good evening. And from the day that Kitty Couric sat in that chair, the opening greeting was, hi. Because that's what people really say, because that's, that's the language that, that people use these days. The, the, it's, it's picking up the language of the, of the street in a way so that the people who are watching will relate to you more. They'll identify with you better. I live across the street from Carnegie Hall, the other Carnegie uh, institution in, 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 nearby. And I noticed that you know people going in, or when I went myself, it's great living over there because you can look out the window and say, you know, concert starts in five minutes. Maybe we should mosey on over there. And, and people who are going to hear great music played by great, great artists who are dressed in formal attire because the occasion seems to call for that in respect to the great music. And about half the people in the hall look as if they're dressed to go fishing. <laughs> I kind of think that's too bad. I wear a tie and a jacket on, on television. I don't always wear a tie and a jacket, but I do when I'm going to Carnegie Hall. I do when I'm going out for the evening and going to be among people because it, there's a certain, there's a, I think, you take pleasure in, in, in dressing to fit the occasion. But we're not, we're not like that anymore. And people who are running for president hardly ever wear a tie. You, know, you take the tie off and maybe you hold the jacket over your, over, over your shoulder. But you want to show that you're, you're a man of the people. And in, and in television, we do much the same thing. 